discovered with his ultrasound. In his ultrasound, they discovered he had um, club feet. When I had him, the pediatrician referred me to Scottish Rite. We met Jonas at the age of 12 days. So when he presented to us, he had club feet affecting both of his lower extremities. I brought in Jonas on his first appointment and um, they took a look at his feet and to see how severe they were. So we talked about our treatment methods for club feet. First we assessed Jonas and did a general examination to make sure that the only thing that was wrong were his club feet and that was the case. Right away when uh, Dr. Richards walked in the door when I met him, I just felt that like this, I knew that he was going to be in good hands. So we started our program with Jonas. And that program is weekly casting using the plaster casts that extend from the toes up to the thighs. And we do a gentle manipulation of the foot, gradually turning it out from the club foot position that it begins in. And we do enough turning out to improve the position but not so much that he is noticeably uncomfortable. It was tough. It was tough, and it's mostly tough on us seeing our babies, you know, in casts. He wanted to stretch out his feet, and he's, he couldn't. He was a little fussy. And uh, just being patient, you know, with him and, and making sure that he was comfortable lifting his legs, propping them up with blankets and stuff like that. And we do this each week until we can take that foot and stretch it from an inside position to an outside position. And at that time, the very tight heel cord that is part of a club foot, it's time to clip the heel cord so that we can stretch the foot up from a position that's down into one that's more dorsiflexed. So the last set of casts are applied once the heel cord is clipped and that cast remains on for three weeks. After that, we went to the Boots and Bar. They call it 23-7, which means 23 hours, seven days a week with 30 minute breaks. And then we uh, move after three months to a nighttime schedule. So in those first three months, we see them each month because mom and dad need a lot of reinforcement to make sure that those braces are continuing to be worn properly. Well, if I have to grade you, I have to give you the advice. At first, you know, you think that they're not going to crawl. You know, you're like, what's going on? You know, like, um, it's going to affect them, the boots and the bar being restricted, you know, for so long. but. He, he was fine, he was moving around, he was rolling, you know, and he started crawling, and, and I feel relieved, you know, that he's crawling, and now he's cruising with furniture. It's, it's a relief, you know, and, and I'm very grateful for Scottish Rite. You know, I feel very lucky that we ended up here. So at this point, 11 months into his life, Jonas has had a really great outcome from his club feet, which originally, when we graded them out, were notably severe. So this is working out pretty well. A lot of times you you kind of cry, you know, you cry and I and just wonder is he gonna is his feet are gonna look normal, you know, or is he gonna walk normal like any other child? You know, is he gonna play sports? You know, and, and sure enough, you know, people see his feet and they can't believe it. What? Club foot, you know, he's his feet look great, you know, and and I say yes. They are, <laughs> you know, I'm proud of that, you know, I'm proud of his feet.